Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you are coming across a problem on your Windows computer where the start menu settings are not working properly. So you might say this file does not have a program associated with it for performing this action. Please install a program or if one is already installed, create an association in the default programs control panel. So if you're coming across this when you're trying to open up your settings or perhaps through your start menu or a run command, this tutorial will be for you. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and just tap on the Windows and R key combination. So if you're unable to open up the start menu, you can just tap the Windows key on your keyboard and the R key at the same time to open up the run dialog field. So you could alternatively, if you're able to, right click on the start button as well and select run. So just keep that in mind. You got a couple different options there. And into the open field, you want to type in PowerShell. All one word. Left click on OK. Give it a moment to start up here. And now into the PowerShell window, I'm going to have a command in the description of the video. I want you guys to copy it. It starts with get minus sign apex package. So highlight over, control C, or right click and copy, whatever you prefer. And then go to the top part of the Windows PowerShell window here, right click on it, left click on edit, and paste it in. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin running this. It should take a moment here, so just please be patient.
Alright everyone, I'm back. So if there's a little red, don't worry about it. That doesn't mean that every single command is going to run. You saw how many different ones were running concurrently. So if there's a little bit of red or wasn't able to run, don't worry about it. Most of them were able to run successfully. Close out of here. With just restarting your computer and hopefully that would have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.